This looks awesome already. <laughs> oh no. This is Rafa, and I'm doing a let's play of this game for a couple reasons. First of all, I've wanted to check it out for a long time, and second of all, I'm going through a very difficult period in my life, and my girlfriend Tess is one of the only people who's helping me stay sane, so I wanted to make some videos of this for her, since she lives kind of far away from me at the moment. And this game is supposedly a love story, and already I can feel the love. I'm gonna press options, and uh... Super Meat Boy! <laughs> Just jump right in, I guess. Help in options to see if there's anything important I need to know before I start. One Meat Boy plus Saw equals death. Meat Boy plus Bandage Girl equals happiness. Meat Boy plus Bandage equals mystery. That's it. Okay. Music volume, sound effects volume, language. Okay. I got that part. Credits. I don't want to see the credits. Statistics. Oh, it shows me total death, total progress. Okay. Let's start the game. <laughs> I think it's a parody of Street Fighter 2. That's pretty sweet. Upward the gap. I can actually go to any of these levels. I think I can go to any of these levels. I'm gonna go to uh, level 1, obviously, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing this game on the PlayStation 3, so... Alright, so stick, move, and then jump, jump. Jump! Is that it? Hang on, what's the funny bunny rabbit doing? Oh, okay, so I can press square to sprint super fast. Level complete! I got Bandage Girl, and then Dr. Fetus teleports in out of nowhere and takes her away again. Upward. Alright, so this is a tutorial that shows me that I can wall jump either clinging to one wall or bouncing back and forth between walls. And it says, don't hit a saw, because a saw is death, but I don't really see a saw that I can hit. There's one entombed in the earth. The gap! Oh no, there's a gap! R1, square slash R1. So is, R is R1 also just sprint? I gotta cross the gap. And I got a grade A+. Plus. Is that A plus certified Angus beef? I think it is. Okay, next level. Bandage Girl, I'm coming for you. In a nutshell. In a nutshell, I'm coming for you. Oh no. I'm stuck down here. There's a bandage down here. Let's collect that and give that to Bandage Girl. I'm sure that's one of her trinkets. Level complete bandage gat! Okay, I didn't get a grade A plus that time. It's the Holy Mountain. What makes it so holy? It's a mystery. It might be full of holes. It might be the Swiss cheese mountain. It might be in Mario World where everything's named after food. I walked off the edge and warped back to the beginning. Okay. Warp zone! Warp zone! I got a trophy. And now I'm playing on Game Boy. And I have a limited number of lives and I have to get down to bandage curl. And I hit a saw. 
Oh no, this game is so weird. Am I supposed to like slide down this wall? No, it's death. Just jump. Just jump, that's it. You just jump. <laughs> I saved you in 8 bits also, bandage girl. I hope you're happy. Oh no. There we go. I was so clever, I figured that out without even having to uh, do anything special. I have three lives again, so I guess you have three lives for every level. This is the part where you fit into a wall and just slide. Oh my god, that's disgusting. So a uh, Super Meat Boy leaves this red stain that looks like blood everywhere he walks, including all the walls he slides down. Uh, oh, okay, so that wasn't a wall. That was actually a place I can just slide right through. And then I go up and avoid these saws. And go right down the middle and rescue Bandage Girl. Sorry, Meat Boy, but Bandage Girl is in another warp zone. Wait, that was so weird. Sky Pop, that level actually has a name. Alright. Time to do the Holy Mountain again and beat up this bunny rabbit. No, this bunny rabbit is just leading me off the screen to my demise. Level complete, grade A+. Save replay, replay level. Wait, so this is going to show me how I beat the level again. In case I forgot. Okay, next level. Next level, I said. Next level, blade catcher. I need to catch the blades. No, I think I need to avoid the blades. I don't. I didn't see a catch button anywhere in the tutorial for this level. Diverge. I'm doing it. How to play this game? Step one, do it. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. The bit. Is this the drill bit? Am I chomping at the bit playing this level? Thank god for PlayStation 3 quality controls. Meat Boy is very controllable and there's a very high element of horizontality to his movement. I guess because he's very horny. Like when you jump and go forward in midair, you go up a little bit and you go forward a lot. Safety third. What's first? Love. First is love. Second is audacity and third is safety. The levy. Oh, so there's dirt and when you hit the dirt it breaks away. That's cool. And then you... Ah! I did it. I broke it away. I made a hole. And I got bandage, girl. Oh, the flag is a time. I think you need to complete it in the flag time in order to be fast enough. And it's going to show me a replay so I can see what I did wrong to not make the time. And what I did wrong was, uh... I hesitated too much. I actually want to play this level again. So can I slide up? And then, yeah, go through on my way back down. Cool. I still didn't get an A+. Plus. I call shenanigans. How long did that one take me? It took me 764, because I jumped at the end. Alright, I can do it. Until the levee breaks, I can do it. Ah, I hit the saws! I was doing perfect. Is there a limited number of lives? And it's, this is probably not a game with a limited number of lives, because let's be honest, these levels are pretty tough, and if you had a limited number of lives, I don't even know like what the punishment would be. Uh, for losing them, would you go back to the beginning of the world? Because you can like kind of play these levels in any order anyway. So going back to the beginning of the world would not really be um, a realistically good punishment. Create A+, plus, but I'm going to get the bandage also, because I'm a completionist. Oh no, I pressed next level by accident. No time to think, I just have to go. Warp zone! Warp zone! Uh-oh. 
is there going to be a QTE? I'm going to have to press triangle, square, circle, then hold the left stick left and press the right stick right, and then shake the entire controller up and down. This looks like an Atari 1600 game now. Commander video from Bit Trip Runner. Whoa! I'm leaving a psychedelic rainbow trail in my wake. Did I make it or did I die? I made it. And then I died. How am I supposed to get through that? Oh, I can float. I can float like Princess in Super Mario Brothers 2. That is the best thing ever. Alright. Float and land and float and land and jump and float and land and float and win! It seems like the warp zones are actually three levels in a row. And I unlocked Commander Video! Just look at the level names of these levels. Revolve, Tommy's Cabin, Blood Mountain, Cactus Jumper, Sidewinder, Morningstar, Altamont, Intermission, and The Test. I'm not going to skip ahead to the test, so I'm just going to... Oh no, I choose a character. Meat Boy, very fast, made of meat. Unknown character. Unknown character, unknown character. This is how many bandages it takes to unlock them. Floaty, slow! Oh, Commander Video is floaty and slow, that's not his name. That's just his description, okay. Warp zone! Wait a second, was that the same warp zone I just found? That was the same warp zone I just found. Can I skip this? I sure can. If I die three times, is it going to take me back to the map? No. I guess I have to beat the warp zone in order to continue. I'll do it in record time this time. Up, 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 up. Whoa! Careful here. Careful with that axe, Eugene. Something happened to Eugene. We had to stop this on um, communication and make up excuses about technical difficulties. Oh, I'm trying to float and I can't float anymore because I'm Meat Boy now. <laughs> I'm no longer Commander Video. Anyone like Commander Venus? Tommy's Cabin. I may be the only one on YouTube who likes Commander Venus. Since YouTube was not around during the early 90s. Blood Mountain. That was a very easy mountain to climb. There were a few hazards, but uh, there's no reason you should close it to hikers. I think that that mountain is A-OK -okay in my book. This is a cute game. There are lots of saw blades, lots of trees, lots of bunny rabbits. So far the only thing that annoyed me was that one level that showed a tile of dirt that you couldn't actually interact with, it was just background. Sidewinder. Oh no, you just fall straight down. Just fall straight down and then go side to side to side to side. And fall down. And you win! I didn't get an A+, plus. I'm gonna try it again. See if I can fall faster. Fall faster! There we go. A plus. These levels are short and sweet. Morning Star. It is a Morning Star. It's like the flail from uh, the Castlevania series. Oh my god, I almost hit that because I didn't see where I was going. <laughs> and I got a great A plus on my first try. I'm going to watch that again because that was a beautiful completion. I'm digging it. Next level. Altamont! Can I just stand here and have them pass over my head? 
I'm sure I didn't get an A plus on that one. Let's see how quickly I need to go to get an A plus. Four seconds, I don't think it's possible. Maybe if I panic a lot. <laughs> ah! I'm trying to just make it in two jumps. Ah! Panic, panic, panic mode, panic mode, panic mode. Panic, panic, panic mode. Ah, I made it. I made it in two jumps instead of two jumps. I mean three jumps. One, two. Oh, and it showed. That's the purpose of the replay. Now I see. My eyes have been opened to the light. The purpose of the replay is it shows you all of your attempts at once. So if you die like a hundred times trying to beat a level, then when you finally beat it, you get to see a hundred Meat Boys splattering into axes. Done. No, there's more obstacles. Oh no. I tried to do it fast, bandage girl. She's forgiving me and giving me an A plus anyway. She's giving me an A for effort. Even though I stumbled. The test. This is the test of everything we've learned. It's got saw spitters and it's got saw blades. It's got a bandage here. Let's get that. Land. Oh, I tried to land in between the saw blades, and this game was not having it. Let's just beat the level and come back for the bandage. Let's break through the levee. We did it! We broke through the levee. Sweet. Now we have to fall and run and fall and not get hit by the saw. Fall and run and fall and run. Ah, the saw got me. Alright. This level's not too bad. Just need to get through the levee. To the other levy, then I can actually jump straight across. And go. And go. And go. Ingot! Ingot! Ah, the last saw got me. I was doing perfect. I was going for bandage, I was going for A. I was going for Q question mark. I was going for Space Station 9. I was going for my Love Potion Manufacturing License. I had almost passed FDA approval. And then there was a saw detected in the workplace. And it was a fire hazard for some reason. Because you're supposed to use an axe in order to, uh... Wait, in case of fire, break... I don't even know what I'm saying. You know those containers that contain axes? And they're labeled, they say, in case of fire break. So, are you supposed to use an axe to put out the fire? No, I don't think so. I think you're supposed to use an axe to chop down the wall and make yourself a new door in case there's, like, a wall of flame surrounding the real door. But, uh, that's a pretty strange scenario. I would think if there was a fire in your building, you would either exit fast enough that the flame didn't spread to your real door, or else just douse yourself in water and, like, dash through the flame really quick and suffer third degree burns, but that's just my opinion. Alright, let's go on. Next level. That's all the levels. Boss unlocked. Ultimont, intermission, the test. Lil Slugger. And there's a giant skull icon. Okay, let's see what's in store for us here. Oh no, what's Dr. Fetus doing? Dr. Fetus is like the perfect Bond villain. He's creating a trail of gasoline and lighting the entire forest on fire. We have to stick Greenpeace on his ass. I was gonna say OPEC, but um, OPEC is very happy that he's purchasing all this petroleum. Ah! I was too hasty there. I guess you do have to go fast though, because you have to stay ahead of this contraption. This Dr. Fetus is totally evil contraption. And just go up here and wait. And <laughs> watch Dr. Fetus crash into the wall. And it says Sluggo or Slugga on the side of his machine? Is it just a machine? I was going to call it a tractor, then I was going to call it a backhoe. It's not a backhoe. It's just a mech. <laughs> I 
and he grew bat wings and flew away. Leaving nothing but dead squirrels in his wake. Oh, well, this is so horrible. Cover your eyes, kids. You may not want to watch this. I should rate this video M. <laughs> they left one squirrel alive, so Dr. Fetus had to come back for the kill. Light world, dark world, bandages, warps. There's 20 bandages and I only got one. There's also four warps. I only saw two warps. Select and back. Now I'm in chapter two of the hospital. Chapter 1. Oh, I see. I pressed left and right to switch between levels. Let's go back to the forest and see what we might not have seen before. After this lovely introduction. Oh, wasn't that heartbreaking. Dark World, but I can only do it for certain levels. I'm going to uh, figure out what I'm doing here and then start the next section of my video when I do. Thank you so much for watching. This was so fun so 